Let me keep it clean. Wow. I woke up feeling extra good today because I got uh, much better sleep than I normally get. I hope y'all did too. I hope your Thursday is going really, really, really good. This should be a very fun Thursday, very exciting Thursday um, because today, supposed to start at 1130, we got a presser that features the guy who a lot of us have been wanting to hear from for so long. It features a presser where a lot of media people, they just been wondering and waiting how he feels about different things. What's he going to say? What's his thoughts on this and that? So it's been driving them crazy because they just don't know. That presser features one Lamar Jackson. So that will be fun. But the Ravens also had a presser uh, yesterday that featured somebody who we love hearing from because we love that he's a part of this team because we've actually already seen uh, his impact on this team and his friend's impact on this team too, uh, that being T. Martin. Um, now me, I didn't watch a second of the presser yesterday uh, because I got very lazy uh, because I started seeing quotes come out from the presser, but then I didn't see it live streaming on YouTube. I do have the Baltimore Ravens app, but I just didn't even think two and two didn't go together. And by the time that they did, I was like, you know what? I just I, I'll catch it later. But two quotes stuck out from me from that presser. Cause I know Devin DuVernay spoke, uh, T. Martin spoke, and I know some other people did, too. But T. Martin said some stuff, and I was like, ooh, okay now, wait a minute. But before we get into it, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you because um, you all support to this channel. Uh, we're still a small channel. It's at 55,000 right now. Um, but I appreciate y'all supporting. Um, a lot of comments I see from people. Uh, every single day on every single video. I appreciate that. Um, I know sometimes the videos may come out where you're at work, where you're at school, where you're doing this and doing that, whatever it may be. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you watching. Not only watching, but I appreciate you watching consistently. I appreciate you watching when you can. I appreciate you supporting uh, the ways that you do. So thank you for that. Um, and then one last thing, I always hate that like TikTok will have these stupid songs like stuck in your head. Like sometimes I randomly walk around singing my money, don't jiggle jiggle. It for anyway, so uh, for the, the quote that really stuck out to me, the first one, uh, the guys do from T. Martin, uh, the guys do have a chip on their shoulder and they want to go out and prove that they're ready for their opportunity. And when we don't draft a wide receiver, what the organization is saying to you is we brought you here for a reason and it's your time. Now, that, of course, is speaking about the Baltimore Ravens wide receivers. And that has been the only position right now um, that has me hung up. I'm like, man, I just uh, whenever I was just talking to one of my guys yesterday, he's like, you think Ravens are a Super Bowl team? And I told him, I think they're very close. They're very close. But the thing that I just that that's holding me back is just the unknown at wide receiver. I just don't know how it's going to be. I don't know if this is a group that can get them there. Hopefully they can. Hopefully they can. But it's just so much unknowns with that. Um, and y'all know how I feel about it. I would love for them to add a significant young guy uh, who's still in his prime. To, and I feel like that would just help take them over the top. Um, will they do that? We'll see. With this quote, <laughs> it, it would point to the direction of no. But at the same time, you know, Ravens and, and their smoke screens. So you, you just never know. You never know. But you, you figure they're going to add somebody somehow, some way, um, some veteran, some way. We, we'll see, though. Now, one, my guy Hendo from Ravens Online Ungatekeepers, he made a really good point in yesterday's video in the comment section. Um, because, of course, when we talk about the Ravens potentially adding a wide receiver, that is obviously a hot topic. Some people love talking about it. Some people hate talking about it. Uh, I see y'all in the comments section. Some people like, you talking about this again? I just, I can't stand this wide receiver talk. I love it. And I'm with it all day. Y'all know that. But anyway, um, he made a really good point because whenever we talk about wide receiver, a lot of some, a lot of people like, hey, yeah, they should add one. A lot of people like, no, they should roll with the young guys. And some people in between, they're like, hey, if we do it, we cool. If we don't, we cool too. Um, but what my guy Hendo said from Ravens Online Ungatekeepers, y'all check his YouTube channel out. He said that if the receivers, if the young receivers that we have, if they're like that, then that veteran won't even see the field. They won't even see the field. Because the Ravens, they, they, they always talk about it. 
They like putting their best guys out there with the offensive line. They like putting the best five out there. Sometimes it takes a little longer than other times, but eventually they like putting the best five out there with cornerbacks, safeties, linebackers, whoever it may be. They like putting the best guys out there. So, say for instance, they add a veteran receiver. It shouldn't take away from the younger guys if the younger guys are showing like, hey, we like that. We got it. So that's just something that I did appreciate from my guy, Hendo. Shout out to him. And it was a really, really good point that I have told him. I never thought about. Now, an even more favorite quote from yesterday's presser. And shout out to the folks on Twitter that be putting it like Jeff Zrebic, Jameson Hensley, Sarah Ellison. We love y'all. Kyle Barber. We, we appreciate y'all. I know Jonas Schaefer, he be putting his stuff out too. Shout out to all those Ravens beat writers. Because it is, man, I wish I could do like a, a long shout out list to all these people that cover the Ravens. Because they make our experience so fun and interesting. And they keep us informed on so many different things. Whether it's through articles, through tweets, through reports, through updates. Whatever it may be. We appreciate all of y'all that cover the Baltimore Ravens. Thank you for that. Um, but the other quote was about the deep passing game. We examined it during the offseason. It was something that Coach Harbaugh wanted us to improve on. So it's been an emphasis. Ooh, I love that. I, I love that. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. We've been pushing the ball downfield, down the field more. Hey, if you're going to do that, no problems with me. No problems with me because it's, it's a beautiful thing. And you know Lamar loves that too. You know, you know Lamar is with that all day, every day. That dude loves throwing the deep ball. So if Ravens can incorporate some more deep passes. And, and those, like for me, yeah, I'm greedy. I, I'm, I'm very greedy. Like, especially when I be playing Madden, that's all that I be looking for. The short stuff, I be like, ah, yeah, I throw a little check down every once in a while. I throw a little medium pad, but the deep pad, that's, that's my bread and butter. Um, so with Lamar, you that's his too. Because Lamar is always looking downfield. And again, you may hear the uh the 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 media say otherwise, oh man, he's always running. No, <laughs> he's always looking down for like a year. If you know Lamar, you know Lamar always looking for that big play. Always. Um, but yeah, that's I I, I like what he said, and I just hope that it sticks. What I mean when I say that um, is just really not even just the emphasis on a deep passing game because a deep passing game, if Lamar is there, that's going to be there because that's that's part of his game. That's a big part of his game. Um, but just really the emphasis on the passing game as a whole. I, that's the direction I hope that excuse me, that they're headed in. And again, y'all remember last year uh, for a, a period of time while Lamar was obviously still the starter. The Ravens were top in the league, um, or at least top two. I think they no, they were top in the league. They were number one in the league for uh, for uh, like a couple of different statistics when it came to the deep ball. As far as attempts, yards per attempt, they were like number one uh, downfield throws or something. Like they like they were up there uh, last year for a significant amount of time. And then, well, yeah, well, you know the rest of the story with all the injuries and all that stuff. But so, yeah, so they uh, they were doing it. But now, again, so based off of what he said, what I've been saying that I'm hoping for this upcoming season, based off of what he said, is they're saying that they're going in that direction. That's what they're saying. Hopefully it happens, though. And what I mean when I say that is that this we know they're going to run the ball. Great. We, we get that. A shorter running game will be fine. But to make sure they incorporate and emphasize the passing game as well. We know that you're going to come up with 50 million different ways to run that ball, and that's fine. Hey, well, let's come up with 40, at least 49 million different ways to throw the ball to. Let's make it efficient. Let's make it effective. Let's make it to where that is a viable option. For when people stop the run. Because, you know, people, they're going to look at the team. They go, oh, they traded away Hollywood. They ain't got no deep threats. Let's load the box. Let's stop the run. Okay. Oh, y'all want to load the box? <laughs> Guess what? We got something for that. Let's have something for that. That's all we ask. But that's all I ask. And, then, and a couple of us. I know some people are like, no, no, just run. Run against the loaded box. That's fine. No. <laughs> 
have something ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. If you're going to a game prepared, going to each game prepared, then you ain't got to prepare during each game. It's as simple as that. But at the same time, it, it, sometimes it just doesn't seem like it's so simple. But we're going to see, man. We, we, we are going to see. Um, T. Martin was brought here for a reason. Uh, and we again, we did see improvement from Ravens receivers last year. We, we, we certainly did. We wish that we could have seen them all together um, last year. It, it's unfortunate how things ended up going um, we wish we could have seen both all, all the receivers together and them with their starting quarterback. We just we got robbed of that last year. Robbed. And I know some people, oh well, we saw them all during the Miami game. No, that Sammy Watkins wasn't in that Miami game. He wasn't. He was dressed, he was on the field, but Sammy Watkins was not in that Miami game at all. At all. He wasn't. <laughs> Whew, that was sad. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, the presser, again, it's supposed to start uh, at about uh, 1130. So y'all stay on the lookout for that. Now, you know they're going to stream that one on YouTube. Yesterday, they didn't, they didn't stream it on you. You know, the one with Lamar, they streaming that on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we'll, of course, cover that as well. And that, because they, they got some heavy hitters getting ready to speak. So I'm sure that video is going to go on uh, for a while. But... We'll see y'all then. I love y'all. Y'all have a really, really great day. Again, thank you for 55,000 subscribers. Uh, let's keep pushing. Let's keep doing it. Um, and y'all just keep being great. We out.